We are going to be doing something different today. This is actually a compilation of a couple time lapses of various paintings that I made for a theater project that will be animated and on a stage where actors will be performing a script, etc, etc. I mean, theater, you know, you know what I mean? It's a drama and it's actually really wonderful because we're promoting global um, warming awareness and it's for environmentally friendly cause and also the target audience are children so super interesting project that I'm partaking in and the reason why the audience are children it's actually the first time for everyone on the team to be creating art for kids or uh, theater performance for kids because that they are the future and pretty much if we want to make the world a better place we gotta start brainwashing the kids uh, we got to start making the kids aware of the global issues that are very, very serious. <laughs> so it was really fun to be making these art pieces to create that kind of emotion for children to experience and to also be working with a team, to, work, to be working directly and closely with the director to understand what kind of feelings he wants um, the, the scenes to depict. And it was also challenging, but just the right amount and kind of, you know, challenges are always fun for me. Um, so this painting that you saw just now was actually one that I made that I thought I was going to use, but I didn't end up liking it. So I didn't even show them, but I'm only showing, showing you guys. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't want them to know that I had already made another painting. Like, I want this to be perfect. You know, I want to do my best, and I just didn't think that painting reflected my best so this is actually of the same scene but in a different variation and so depicting the same kind of emotion um and uh basically this first scene is meant to depict like the director told me that it's supposed to be kind of like um it's all sunny and in all of these scenes there's a mountain the mountain is essentially the uh the center uh the centerpiece of the stage because the performance and um, the performance is actually called Ice Dream Isle. So it's about a dream ice island. And yeah, I'm not going to go into too much details. The script is beautiful. I almost cried when they told me when they told me the story behind it. It's just so it's so gripping and definitely I think it's even though the main audience are kids, definitely also suitable for adults as well so this first scene is just everything's blissful it's great you know you see some animals chilling and kind of like a spiritual like i mean not spiritual but like this godlike you know um kind of difficult for me to put it into words like just something very serene yeah that's the word a serene scene so that was the instructions that i had they wanted it to be a day you know during daytime not nighttime um, didn't necessarily want me to make the sun super obvious. Also, they wanted to potentially have like animals appearing randomly, but not super obviously like in the clouds. So a lot of instructions different to how I usually work, which is quite interesting. And I actually set the painting, oh, sorry, the painting of the, the mountain, the ice mountain for last because I don't paint landscape so often. Okay, so I'm not proud <laughs> of this crazy mess that has formed. Um, yeah, like this is this is a, a vibe. Um, I need to tidy up. <laughs> so here's a close up of the first painting scene. I ended up painting the rest behind the scenes because I tend to do that. I don't know why, it's just a habit that I have where I tend to do the final steps off camera. It might have something to do with the fact that I like to have my phone in my hand so I can like check and look how it looks on the phone so I can get an even more objective idea of where I need to be adding contrast. So that's one of the reasons. I actually showed you guys a close up of the first scene in the end but for the next couple of scenes I didn't film a video of the final. I just took photos. 
so I will be showing you guys how it ends up looking after the painting but you will also notice that I added details in the end that was off camera so keep that in mind definitely watch the whole thing if you want to see how it really turns out because you don't see it fully in the time lapse keep that in mind so this second scene the director told me and it's in the script it's like at it's nighttime so I had to make a night scene it was supposed to be super romantic really beautiful and I suggested the northern lights because this is partially partially inspired by Iceland and northern lights are obviously very representational of Iceland and also I think I thought of northern lights being very um, a very good thing to incorporate because it's very romantic it's quite it's very mystical which is the whole vibe that we're trying to create and I added some planets in there too definitely watch the last part for that painting in the end I kind of painted the second scene really fast I don't know why I guess I just like really knew what I was gonna do and I didn't have to figure it out while I was painting so that was a quick one and now we're on to the third scene and in this scene I had to depict uh, a very a, a darker vibe because now this this obscure metaphorical monster has appeared and I had to change the second scene so I still had to have the base of the second scene but changing the colors so that it looked more dramatic and shadow-esque as if the monster has appeared and is lurking over the the land so that's what I did and when I was painting it I was imagining kind of wind the sound of wind blowing during the day of the performance and I'm really really excited actually to see the animations I haven't uh, well I'm not going to be putting the animations in this video because it will take some time before that's ready also there will be uh, like a video um, recorded of the actual performance which is also not going to be in this video I might make another um, alternative one down the line in once you know after the performance which is in a month um, or just add me on Instagram <laughs> check out my Instagram I do post a lot of stuff on there so have a look at that and if you want to see even more behind the scenes stuff even more videos and process and know my plans for the month ahead of time also have a look at my patreon account it's a really good way to support me just with the price of a coffee every month it helps me make continue to make these videos for you guys and share my process and yeah so now we're on to the fourth scene and this is an interesting one i asked them i was like do you guys want me to do everything horizontal or do some vertical ones and they were like oh we want you know we don't mind yeah maybe some variation do, do a vertical one and so i was like okay so then i did the vertical one and then they were kind of like oh wait actually maybe we wanted a horizontal but i was like i already did it vertical so what ended up happening was that this is the only one that's vertical and the rest are all horizontal so the story behind this scene is that the mountain starts spinning and again we're talking about global warming so you know it was an ice mountain so ice melts right <laughs> so in the in the play the mountain starts spinning and then it turns upside down and it starts dripping down so um, actually they didn't tell me that it was like dripping down but they just you know like all the stuff you guys see here are my interpretations of what the director told me ish that he wanted so you know what I was told that the mountain basically turns up down, upside down and starts to somewhat mimic an hourglass but not necessarily so me thinking of a mountain upside down I obviously think well it's gonna be dripping right so that's what I did and I made the droplets really obvious I'm excited to see how they actually change this into animation because I understand that vertical is a little bit more difficult for them to work since the theater the the play is actually <laughs> is, is very horizontal and long so they're gonna have to tweak it and manipulate it in some way to make it work but I think I think personally that the mountain in this scene is gorgeous like it might be the most beautiful mountain out of all the scenes that I made yeah and also the the emotion that they that director wanted to bring forth in this was a, a somewhat somber vibe not necessarily daylight, not necessarily night, kind of an in-between somberness. 
that was th those were my instructions all right i guess that we are on to the fifth scene which was the most challenging one for sure i spent a lot of time on the first scene but i would say that the fifth one was the one that i knew was going to be a challenge this is where all the action starts to happen the director had high hopes for the scene he wanted the mountain dripping down forming a pile so that it looked a bit like an hourglass and also he wanted the whole scene to seem like it was inflamed like inflammatory and so very vibrant very colorful but at the same time dramatic and in an intense potentially negative kind of way like hazardous way so the colors he was telling me were kind of like maybe reddish right and um, I ended up deciding that yellow was really intense because it's like made me think of oil so I put that in there and the fishnets um, and also he was like oh you know maybe you can paint some factories in there and some guns and some tools and some I was like those are all things that are kind of difficult to make look like it is what it is because you know tools like tools I don't know like what a nail like it's just like weird I was like really so I had to paint garbage essentially in that painting um, and that's where like the clouds remove and what is revealed is actually trash so that was kind of the the point but but in that painting it was like in motion right so now we're on the last scene which is that after all that drama and all the motion it's kind of settled and you see that what's left from like all the uh the the clouds dissipating and moving away is that actually what was dripping from the mountains is like it's it's garbage like that this whole dream island was actually an island of trash <laughs> so dramatic i know insane so i had to now capture kind of a similar like in the the scene earlier you could see that the mountain was in motion like it was dripping in motion which is why i did the very obvious like drips for the mountain and now you see the mountain just smaller than it was ever in the previous scenes because it's shrunk which is what's happening in the world right now guys and i had to basically make this I think melancholia and kind of like true sadness is the emotion for this painting to really capture kind of the the storm has passed and now this is what we see and it's awful and we want to make the kids realize from this last scene that actions are required to prevent this outcome there's a, there are dead animals in the scene too you see there's a dead bird on the right and i'm actually painting some factories in the back which i didn't do in the previous scenes even, even though the, the director was like oh maybe you could do it then i was like okay i'll just do it in the last one so there's there's going to be smoke coming out of the chimneys of the the factory and yeah i'm just so stoked i'm so excited to see all of this animated and performed with it's gonna be so so cool and so as like I I don't really I didn't really send them so many pictures of my process. I did it with the first scene, but I realized how annoying that was because they would um, the team would everyone would have a different idea, like different um, they'd be like, "Oh, maybe you could do this. Oh, maybe you could do that." You know, and it was just so difficult for me to vibe with the painting and I I I told them I was like I need to really get into the zone, so I think I just need to finish it. And if upon the finished product you guys have any issue with it, then I can make changes. But if you guys keep giving me suggestions along the way, it's just difficult for me to really <laughs> stay focused and we are done so this is the first scene all happy all good yay and then this is night romantic story time S super super chill and now the monster comes he's here it's all shadowy it's dark it's dramatic and now it's dripping we've turned upside down global warming is happening and the clouds dissipate, disappear, and we see that the earth is on fire. And now, yeah, this is the result. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, to help support the channel. Love y'all.